morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a fight, I mean debate, between Elias and Trevor. The topic is banned books. Let's keep it clean, boys. All right, so books should be banned because parents are stripped of their power to limit what their child is reading or observing. If we look at ProCon.org, it says they are still surrounded by the other students who are going to be saturated with this book, said writer Macy France. So basically, if books aren't banned, even if the student isn't reading the book, he's still like surrounded by it and will still absorb the information. The opposition. And books shouldn't be banned. Even objectionable books hold value to children's education. Parents can have their children opt out of reading the specific book if they have a problem with it. And in the 1982 Supreme Court ruling on the Board of Education versus PICO, Justice William Brennan wrote that taking books off library shelves could violate students' First Amendment rights, adding that local school boards may not remove books from school libraries simply because they dislike the ideas contained in these books. That's from ProCon.org. Great debate, boys. Shake it out. Whoa.